We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way. Yo. Both of y'all, um, what's your name? Nathaniel? Rich. Rich. Nathaniel Rich. You Robert. too. Robert. And. Sam. 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 That's how I'm on here. Okay, so now, so now we should, we we know we y'all found yourself on that sign over there. What's your name? Okay, that's Judah. What's your name um over there on that sign? You gotta remember on the left side is what our oppressors call us, and on the right side is what God calls us. Hey, what you see you, you and your father on that on that sign over there? Y'all don't see nothing else. No, I see what. What what do the, the, the your oppressor call you today? That's what's on the on the uh, on the left side. American God in America. God in America. God. Okay. God in America. 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 But I want y'all to understand that Moses was talking to us in the wilderness. We was in the wilderness how long? 40 years, right? You know why we were there? Because we wouldn't do this. Yeah, we know that. So we still still make the day. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said all these curses shall come upon me. I want you to read 16 because I'm from this neighborhood. Right. And guess what? I've been about 43 years old. And every time I stay here, guess what? This is what we was in the city. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. God said we cursed in the city. Now who getting shot down in the city? Who selling drugs to each other in the city? Who doing it? It's us. God said this was going to take place if we didn't keep his commandments. And you know how we know? Watch this. Go to do 32. Watch this. Because this happened to us. And it's still happening right now today on the border with our, our so-called brothers, the Mexicans, which is Issachar. They are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. But guess what happened to them? That happened to us already. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. So, uh, uh, Mr. Samuel, when we was in slavery, because you're a little older than us, when we, wasn't our kids taken away and sold? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were sold. They were sold to us. They were sold from us. Now, the day, the day, the day is called what? They call it what? DC what? DCF, right? So, when they come take your kids now in DCF, do you have any power to get them back? No. What's happening on the border right now today? With the so-called Mexicans, so so-called Issachar, they separated them from their what? Their kids. Ice. What are they doing? They separating the children from their kids from coming over here, right? They sleeping in um cages right now on the floor. You understand what I'm saying? That was prophecy in the Bible that what was going to take place if we didn't keep our commandments. You understand what I'm saying? Well, how we know? Give me on um, 46. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't speak off. Give me 46. And this is how we know. Because God said, get what was going to be on us for a sign in the one and upon our seed forever. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thy seed forever. So until Christ come back, guess what? We're going to always be in the ghettos. As a nation of people. Yeah, some of our people made it out, but what they did? They don't sold out to the white man, did it? Huh? They don't sold out because they ain't coming back to help their people. They got 
got to do what they got to do what the master told them to do. Right. It's just another thing. Just like um, just like uh, what the boy name that that kneeled down, Calvin Cope. He nailed down, and we got people killing each other. You see how the uh, the boy that shot the two people and then walked past the police. Hey, Juju from the top of the Juju. How you doing, sir? What you see yourself on that sign? You don't see yourself on that sign? Well, guess what? We all the, we all the children of Israel because we ain't need curses all, together. All you understand what I'm saying? How did our ancestors get on this side of the earth? A boat. a boat, right? And the boat was called. Uh, we ain't gonna take. We, listen, it's many boats, but I'm gonna show you. We're prophesizing in the Bible that our people are gonna come over here on slave ship. We gonna we gonna read the prophecies. This Bible been written thousands of years ago. Ain't nobody that woke up and made this up. This been here. We just don't read the Bible. You got a curfew. You got that. You, you got that all um, thing. Watch this here. Read this before you go. I want you to read. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So now, the, when we went to Egypt, we got out of Egypt the first time. How we got out? Uh -huh. when we, when, God. Yeah, but how did we leave? What transportation did we leave? By feet. We lost by feet. More than part of the Red Sea, right? So you know a little bit about the Bible. So when God said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again, let's find out what Egypt means according to the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. That's why we know we ain't African. Because guess what? We was under persecution under the African, under Pharaoh. Right. That was the real Egyptians. That was the real Africans. We Israel. Right. So God say, Egypt mean what? Bondage, right? So he said, I'm going to bring you into what? Read that again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Bring you into bondage. Again. With what? With ships. So when we got off them ships, what happened to us? Everybody was running. What, what, did, what did our oppressor do to us? Sold. They sold us. Watch. I'm going to show you. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So God said we got some enemies out here. Right. He said when we got off the slave ship, we were sold unto our enemies. Right. Did that not happen to us? That happened to us. That ain't happened to no other nation but the so-called Israelites. The so-called black Hispanics and the Native Americans. That's what happened to. That's how we know we the people. But what we got to do? What we got to do? So bad. So now I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show. Hold on, one more. Before you go. What's going on? You got a question? No. I want to show him a law before he leave. Give me the little bit of twenty-one What's your name, bro? Andrew over there. No, bro. We don't need that. We don't need that. Andrew. 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 Okay. We out here teaching our people who they is according to the Bible. Okay, I know you got to go. I'm going to read this the one thing because I want you to read it and I want you to keep it doing because this is this is how you can start uh, serving the Most High God and telling you when you say you love Him, then you can do this. Read the Book of Leviticus, Hold on, bro. chapter 21, verse five. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So what that mean when he say don't shave off your what? Yeah. What you supposed to have? You want to have your beard. Right. You can cut it low, but you're going to have it. Right. Because God made a separation between man and what? Do the woman got a beard? No. But we got one. Because when we came into the hands of our oppressor, what they did? Cut, cut our what? They cut our beard. Because somebody give me the definition of beard. Because they don't understand this thing is written down. We got it. But we're we going to out here and give you, give you the truth of what the Bible says. Because when you have a beard on your face, they know you are what? Huh? They know you're a man because they ain't going to call you a boy because guess what? You got this on. Read. This is the definition of beard. Beard, a badge of manly dignity. As a sign of mourning, it was a, the custom to pluck it out or to cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards. Probably because it was regarded as a heathenish sign. See? So it was a shame to cut off our beard. It was a heathenish sign. The other nations that made us cut off our beard, they know who we was. Right. We just ain't know who we was. Right. But the beard is a manly badge. 
All right, bro. Keep keep that thing. Read that Bible. I want to ask you a question. Yes, sir. So, how, how, how would they cut off the beard? They made razors back then? Yeah, they had knives back then. Give me the um, one. They, they had razors back then. God says nothing new under the sun. They just got, you got better with it. We got clippers now. That's all they did. <laughs> Read, watch this. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 1. And thou, son of man, take thee a sharp knife. What did he say? Take him a what? Take thee a sharp knife. So back then, they, they, what, they got an iron, they got a, a rock. They did all that and they did it. They shaved it and made a what? Nice. Ain't nothing new on the sun, really. Take thee a barber's razor uh -huh. and cause it to pass upon thine head and upon thy beard. Then take the balances away and divide. So now, you that, that's to understand that we had it back then. But what's, what's the difficult part about it now? Cause we heard the law, right? But we go into the barber shop and we do it what? We do it what? Uh -huh. Give me willfully sin. When we go to barber shop. We get the same. We get the same. But we do it what? We do it. We do it. We do it willingly. We do it willingly. God told us don't do it, but guess what we do? We do it with. Do any one of y'all eat pork? Huh? <laughs> everybody, everybody look, no, we don't eat pork. We don't eat pork. Everybody don't eat pork. But guess what? We used to eat pork. But until we got these laws, we, we stop. Because guess what? You either love God or you love pork. Because there ain't gonna be no pork eating in heaven. There ain't gonna be no pork eating in heaven. No. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Just, just, be straight up with you. You hear me? When he come back, if you still eat pork, guess where you gonna be at? <laughs> we already in hell. <laughs> so guess what? Go to Deuteronomy, hold that. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 48. I want you to understand this is why we know we're in hell. Because God told us we better be above all nations, right? But guess what we got to do? Guess what we got to do? Watch this, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Hold on, stop right there. You remember when I read, he said, you were sold unto your enemies? God said right here, you don't have to serve your enemies. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Where we want food, where we got to go get it from? Do we go to our markets? Who we go to? We go to all the other nations. We're all, all on these corners around here. Who own these stores on the corner? Bring it out. Is it us? No. They, the the so-called... The, the, the Arabs, they still selling our people over in their own land right now. This on TV, but they over here in our land. Because God says something about them in the Bible. We're going to get to it, but I want to get you this right here. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. God said, since y'all don't want to serve me and keep my commandments, you gonna have to serve your enemy, cause when you when you want a license, where you gotta go get it from? Oh, Who run that? Oh, like, um, what nation run that? Uh, What's going on, bro? We we we, we trying to get it in right now. I think the. Who, 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 what nation run that? I want to talk to you, and I want to talk to you, cause and Mr. Sammy, cause he older and he know a little more. What's your name? Andrew. What's your name? Nick. You see yourself on that sign? We try to, we, we, we right here, we explain it to the brothers right here on why we went into slavery and what we got to do today that's already written in the Bible that we're doing, that the prophecies are all coming to pass and that's what's happening to us. Right. And we're trying to find a way out of it. Right. But we're going to have to find it through this Bible and through the commandments of the Most High God. So now, when you, who running the license place? Don't be scared to say, what's the name? How, what nation he is? He the white man. Then don't be scared to say it. Cause you ain't got to say it. Listen, he'll call you a nigga in a minute. He'll call you a nigga in a minute. We just tell you what the Bible says. We we just tell you what it. We ain't said it. God said it. He said, in the wants of all things, when you want food, when you want clothes, when you want water, water free. If you get caught getting water out the sky, what happens? They'll do what to you. If they catch you catching water in your backyard and using it. For your bath water or something like that, what will happen to you? Huh? They'll, they'll pull it out, they'll put you in jail, they'll write you a ticket. 
that free water from God. But God said the curse is you don't have to go to them for everything. When you die, where you got to go get the birth certificate from? I mean the death certificate from. You got to go to them same people that stole and brought you off the ship. The same people. But we ain't trying to focus on them. We're trying to focus on us. Because we ain't the one got to start keeping the commandments so Christ can come back and fight for us. That's what we're trying to tell you. What you got to do? Read. Keep reading. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent the enemies against thee? He said what? Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them? The Lord. That goes back to we say God is the man of war. You remember he destroyed the whole earth and only left eight people? You forgot about Sodom and Gomorrah? What's going on today in Sodom and Gomorrah? And we got some Sodom and Gomorrah right here in the United States. Yeah, 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 yeah. What y'all thought God changed his mind? He made Eve and Adam to what? To produce. Hey. Two men came with deuce and two women came with deuce. Yeah. So how they do? They killing our nation. Yeah. They stopping the growth of our nation. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.